Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you so much for tuning in today. But basically, I did a large haul from Ulta. Um, I had to spend $150 to get this free gift right here. And uh, you pretty much can tell me, hey, you guys spent $3,000 and I'll probably make it work so I can get a free gift because I have a problem and uh, I can't stop myself. So I love the Ulta free gifts. This is a, this was a diamond exclusive one. So I got an email about it saying, hey, because you're a diamond member, you have access to this if you would like it. I was like, I would like it, thank you. And uh, I put in a lot of, uh, I put in a very large order and spent a lot of money so I could get it. But I figured people really like watching BoxyCharm unboxings. They really like watching Ipsy unboxings and other subscription box unboxings. And this may be a good way to do this because the other video was a very long one to film just talking about the products that I purchased. And there are about 30 items inside of this bag that are sample size that I would really like to share with you guys. Um, and instead of trying to rush it and squeeze it all into one very long video, we separated it into two videos so I could show you everything that was in here. So without any further ramblings, we're going to dig into this monstrous bag. It's so big, yeah. And uh, we're gonna see what I got for spending an unholy amount of money at Ulta. The first thing that I was really excited about, um, I got a Kenra, Sh Kenra Strengthening Shampoo and Conditioner Set. You guys know with my travel bag, that video I posted about two months ago, I always am looking for awesome sample sizes and things like hair care and uh, skin care so that I can bring them on trips with me. And that is a very nice sized one to fit into my bag. Along the same lines, I got this very large vitamin, it oh, vi vi I thought it was vitaminic, but it's vitamin C. There's just a very tiny space in between them, so yikes. Uh, this vitamin C facial wash, from Soap and Glory, um, and that is a huge, huge sample size, I and mean, that's gonna get me through at least a couple trips, so I was excited about that one as well. And then here is a uh, dry shampoo from Frederick Fakai, and I really like Frederick Fakai, so um, I actually didn't know he made dry shampoos, so I was excited to see that one as well. And then we've got a Kanuka CBD Calming Eye Balm, and I've actually been doing a ton of research about CBD and the healing effects lately, um, especially with my mom and, and her arthritis and all the stuff that she suffers with, so I'm very interested to see how that does, especially since you guys know I always have really bad bags around my eyes, and also my skin gets red for no reason all the time, so I'm uh, excited to see if that helps any of those problems. Then we got another eye cream from Clinique. Um, I've actually used this one before because I've gotten it in sample sizes before. I'm a fan of Clinique. I don't normally purchase directly from them, but occasionally I'll buy a set from Ulta and get a free gift or something. So I do always like having those kind of things in my collection. Oh, and then there's, this is a Jane Iredell Smooth Affair Primer in a really nice, pretty little bottle. We've got the Kate Spade New York Walk on Air. Um, it's a little mini perfume. I've gotten quite a few of those from Ulta and they always come in like just the most precious little package. So I'm always excited about those. This I'm very excited about. I I don't even know how to explain how excited about it I am. Um, it is a mini Urban Decay Brow Endowed Brow Volumizer and I have not used any Urban Decay brow products so I'm very excited to get like a nice little mini to try it. I know they just released an extensive line of brow products. In fact, they have it right here on the little back of the card so you can see everything they have to offer. But I'm always looking for brow products that I really like. Right now, my brows are like growing in really funky and I'm trying to like let them grow out and do something, but they always look weird because of that. And so any products that can kind of help me work with them easily, I'm looking for. So I may be testing out some of their new brow line in the near future, hopefully not too near because I've spent so much money at Ulta in the past week that I wanna die. I was excited to get that in this here little bag. And then we've got another little, this is a hydrating gentle cleanser. So there's another good size sample of um, face cleanser and we've got a buxom bava plump in a it's a shiny liquid oh i ripped it oops i was trying to open it up so i could see what the color was uh, oh i'm just ripping it all over all right this one's done oh it's pretty okay so it's like a very fall kind of like deep mauvey burgundy color almost i don't know if you guys can see it so let's see let's pull it out it looks a little bit pinkier than it did in the container but it's supposed to be one of the plumping lipsticks um, you know, the kind that make your lips burn and then like suddenly you kind of look like Kylie Jenner. I'm excited to see how that works. Normally I don't use those because I don't like my lips burning. Uh, I don't want it to feel like it has some sort of a rare disease. So, but I will definitely test it out and see how I like it. And then we've got the Bye Bye Pores Pressed 
I don't know what to call it. I guess it's just a pressed powder. It's not really a foundation. It's not really a setting powder, but this is actually what I've been using as my setting powder in the recent. I got a couple of those on sale during Ulta 21 Days of Beauty last year, and I really like them. So I'm excited to have a nice little mini of that for when I'm traveling. We've got the Climax Mascara from NARS. I like NARS mascaras. I don't normally buy from NARS because they're a little bit more expensive than what I normally buy. I don't know why. Mentally, it's, it's basically the same price for it. It's just like a touch more expensive, but I just don't buy from them normally. So I'm excited to test that out because I do like it when I get their samples. I've got the Bare Minerals Lash Topia, so another mascara. There's still, this is not even half of what was in this bag, so just bear with me, y'all. We have a Biolage All-in-One Coconut Infusion Multi-Benefit Spray. It is for, um, it's a leave-in spray for all hair types, and it's supposed to help, like, make your hair shinier, smoother, softer, basically all of the, the wonderful effects and natural benefits from coconut and having that just kind of absorb into your hair. So I'm excited about that, especially when I'm on trips like the beach and stuff like that. Then we've got a Pure See No More Deep Pore Cleanser, so another face cleanser. We have two masks, which I'm very excited about. The first one is from Ulta Beauty. I have not used any of their masks yet, but it is a full-size Smart Skin Care Solutions Calming Superfood Mud Mask. It's, it's carrot and tomato, and they say you're supposed to get three to four uses per pouch. And I would say that that's probably pretty accurate because it's a pretty heavy, like, thick little pouch. I'm sure this will make very, very good content for one of my skincare regimens. And then along the same lines, I have a Yes to Brightening for Dull or Uneven Skin Unicorn Peel-Off Mask. And I'm hoping it's like one of those like patterned ones where you put it on and you look like a monster, but they're like, no, you're a unicorn. And you're like, no, I look like a rainbow serial killer. And uh, I'm just going to be a rainbow serial killer, but thanks for calling me a unicorn. So I'm hoping that's what it looks like because those are really funny when you put them on. And I think it will also make for a really, really cool um, skincare video. All right, I can see the end of the bag, guys. We're getting close. We're getting there. Uh, next, going along the skincare routine, we have a Strivectin Anti-Wrinkle wrinkle Recode Melting Serum. That's what it looks like. It looks like it's a pretty decent size. Strivectin's a very expensive brand. My mother put in a couple product purchases during the Ulta, Ulta 21 Days of Beauty for Strivectin because they were on sale. And uh, she spent a pretty penny on them because they are not cheap. So I'm excited to test those out and see how they work. And then I've got the Shishido uh, Ultimune Power Infusing Concentrate. I believe this is just a, it's just like a face cream. It may be a specific eye cream, but just based on it, um, it looks like it may be their face cream. I have used the Shishido eye cream because I've gotten it in other sample bags and I really like it. I like their brand a lot. They're also pretty pricey. So I was excited to see that in there. Then we've got a Tula Skincare Exfoliating Sugar Scrub. So another, I would call this in between a mask and a cleanser. Somewhere in the bottom of this bag, we have Sugar Rush from Tarte. It is a body spray. I didn't know they had it. So I'm interested to see how that looks. As soon as I can find it, I'll spray it and tell you how it smells. But it's, it's, in, the, it's in the abyss right now, if you will. We have another mascara from Maybelline. It is the Total Temptation Mascara from them. This one's not in a box and I'm too lazy to open the other boxes. It's a little bit like chunky, but still maybe worthwhile testing. I mean, it's free. You guys know I don't ever buy mascaras, so I can't really complain. I have yet another mascara from Benefit, the Benefit They're Real, and I love this particular one, so I'm excited about that. Okay, moving right along, we've got the Milani Make It Last Matte Finish uh, Setting Spray in a very nice size. That's a very, very generous sample size is what I would call that. Same thing with this Caviar Anti-Aging Replenishing CC Cream. It is a nice size as well. I think this will be a good addition to like the travel bag when I'm out at the beach and everything and I'm not really using um, foundation when I'm going down to the pool or something like that. Uh, I normally throw on a CC cream to give myself a little bit of coverage and also a little bit of skincare protectant from the sun. So I think that'll be a nice addition. I've got the Enzyme Cleansing Gel from Maria Badascu, which I have a couple of these now because I really, really uh, like getting his samples and I've gotten a bunch of those in samples. I still have yet to find the Tarte Sugar Rush. Maybe it's just gone. Pulling handfuls out at this point because we're gonna make it through the end, guys. All right, we have another perfume sample. Ugh. Through some. The Clinique Happy Perfume Spray. I did not open this little box, but it's very cute, and I'm hoping it also is very cute in here. <gasps> oh, it is. Look how cute it is. That just made me so happy. It's so mini. 
it's Clinique Happy, and it made me happy opening it, so. Um, I don't know how it smells. It could smell terrible, but it's adorable, so that's all that matters, right? We've also got a Peter Thomas Roth Hungarian Mineral Water, uh, Mineral Rich Mask. I actually bought a sample size of this mixed with, mixed with, uh, in addition to, so a pair of, um, it came with the, the mineral mask, which is what is in my hand, and then it came with a cream to go over it afterwards. I don't know why that was so hard for me to get through. It's like all of the words in my brain just stopped making sense at the same time. But anyway, I bought that last year around Christmas time because they were on sale for $10, and I actually really like this mask. I believe I have done a skincare routine where I used this particular collection, and um, I'm a big fan of it. So I always like getting Peter Thomas Roth stuff. I've got a Redken Extreme Shampoo, shampooing? That's, I, okay. It just says extreme shampoo shampooing, so all right. And then we have another perfume. This one is from Versace. Ooh, fancy. Fancy, Ulta. <gasps> oh my god. I, oh, I feel like this is like... I feel like this is what the vial in Emperor's New Groove should have looked like. This should have been what turned Cusco <laughs> into a llama. The poison for Cusco. Cusco's poison. poison. <laughs> But it's beautiful. I don't, once again, don't know how it smells, but it's like, that's like a really attractive bottle. That attract, that bottle is more attractive than I will ever be in my whole life, so. Oh, oh, I found the Tarte Sugar Rush. All right, now that we've, we've spent so much time looking for it, I have to spray it and see how it smells, so. It smells like sugar. All right, another perfume. No, this is not a perfume. This is a deceiving one. This is a Balance Shot Antioxidant Concentrate. What am I supposed to do with it? Hold on, we need to, we need to read. I don't know if I'm supposed to ingest this or sprinkle it on my skin or um, what, and it doesn't tell me. So uh, to be safe, I'm probably not going to ingest it. I know that, but awake. All right, and now we're awake. Oh, okay, to go along with the Redken Extreme Shampoo shampooing, we've got a Redken Extreme Conditioner Appraise shampooing. So I guess that means like after shampooing. I don't know, I don't speak. I'm guessing French, appraise, that's what it sounds like, French. And then, all right, we only have a few more things, guys. We're so close. I have a number seven Laboratories Line Correcting Booster Serum. I have a Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. And then I have a, an I Do Care, which if you guys remember from my last skincare video, that was that really cute little um, confetti birthday cake mask. Um, I have the I Do Care Bright Side Up Brightening Vitamin C Serum. So I'm excited to try that out. And then I saved the best for last, you guys, because <laughs> I opened this up, and at first I thought it was like the Elizabeth Arden, like those micro beads that you burst onto your skin, and it's supposed to go in there and like absorb, and you like look nice and rejuvenated, and they cost like $95 a bottle, but no, no, these are non-FDA regulated vitamins, that's what these are, and I say non-FDA regulated. What you must understand is every vitamin that you purchase is not FDA regulated. When you go into GNC, 95% on the shelf is not been FDA regulated. So that doesn't really mean anything. It just was not what I was expecting. It made me go, hmm, I don't know anything about this brand. Actually, it's Nature's Bounty, so I lie. I do know a little bit about that brand, but um, I don't really know anything about this particular line that they have. Beauty from the inside, it's moisture treats to hydrate your dry skin um, with high, high, Hyaluronic, I don't think I said that right. I never spell, say it right. Acid and vitamin E. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a full size bottle. I mean, there's like 70 days worth of pills in here. So it's still sealed. So hopefully nobody messed with them. But uh, I don't know. I'm not brave enough to test them quite yet, but maybe, maybe soon. So that we hit the bottom. That's everything that was in that bag. If you are somebody who is interested in free gifts, personally, this is why I shop at Ulta, the free gifts the rewards points. Overall, I just think they do a better job at doing sales and giving you incentives and bonuses and things like the free gifts and, and the points to get you to be a customer there, as opposed to Sephora, who I would call it its closest competitor. Um, Sephora, it's like you have 4,500 points and there you're like, hey, you uh, can get a lipstick mini and then you put it in your cart and then you go to check out and they're like, oh, sorry, that's sold out. Now you can get a um, uh, one single eyelash. And you're like, what? So that is why I purchased from Ulta primarily is because I love the opportunity to get these gifts. If I'm gonna spend $150 on makeup, we know it's gonna happen somewhere. I might as well be also getting a lot of really awesome free gifts to test things out, see what I like, see what I don't like, pass them along to you guys potentially. Yeah, so that is why I'm such an avid 
Ulta Shopper. I figured because the subscription boxes do really well, you guys might like seeing this too. I hope you did. I know it was long. I've rambled a lot. I always do. Hopefully Nikki can edit it. As always, I love you guys very much. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like our page, please subscribe. As always, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and you stay girly with a dark twist.